In this lecture, we will talk about shells in Linux. Let's first of all understand what is a shell. A shell is a program that provides a text-based interface for users to interact with their computer's operating system by entering commands. It acts as an intermediary between the user and the kernel, which is the core of the operating system allowing users to execute commands and run programs. There are several different shells available in Linux and users can choose which one to use based on their preferences and requirements. Let's see some example of shells. First of all, we have bash, which stands for born again shell. Bash is the default shell on most Linux distributions. It is a powerful and versatile shell with a wide range of features. We have also Z shell, which is an extended and more feature-rich shell compared to Bash. It offers a variety of plugins and a set of features, which make it very useful and popular. We have some other shells like Fish, which stands for Friendly Interactive Shell. We have also Corum shell and Born shell. The choice of which shell to use depends on personal preferences, scripting needs, and system requirements. Users can typically change their default shell, and they can even switch between different shells on the same system if multiple shells are installed. Let us now see how we can view uh, the shell that you are using, your current shell. You can view the current shell you are using using the echo command with the shell environment variable. After running uh, this command, you will see the path to the shell executable. For example, if you are using the bash shell, you will see something like that. The output will vary depending on which shell you are currently using. Let's say that you want to change the current shell that you are using. So how you can switch to a different shell. But before that, you have to know how to check the shells that are available on your system. To check the shells that are available on the system you are using, run this command, cat slash etc slash shells. The output will display the list of available shells, each one on a separate line. Select the shell that you want to change based on the list of the available shells. And now you can change your default shell for your user account by using the command chsh, which stands for change shell, followed by the path to the shell executable that you want to use. You have to make sure to enter the correct path for the shell that you want to use. After changing your shell, it is essential to log out of your current session and then log in again to active the new shell. And now when you log in again to your user account, the new shell should be the default one on your system. So uh, that's it for now and we will continue in the next video.